Welcome to our few moments together on the Parsha. The Shabbos, we have the privilege of reading Parsha's Bo. In Parsha's Bo, we find the last three of the ten plagues and the preparations for the leaving of Egypt, in addition to the prescription for the making of the carbon Pesach and the Matzah and all the other accoutrements that adhere to the mitzvahs on Pesach. Towards the end of the description of what has to be done in Perik Yud Beis in Pasuk Chaf Ches, the Pasuk says, Vayelchu Vayasu Bnei Yisrael, and the Bnei Yisrael went and did, Ka'asher Tziva Hashem Es Moshe, the way Hashem commanded Moshe, Kain Osu, so they did. The Hassam Sofer notes that when it says, Vayelchu Vayasu, and they went and they did, Kol Bnei Yisrael, the Bnei Yisrael went and did, Kasher Tziva Hashem Es Moshe Ve'aron, the way Hashem commanded Moshe and Aaron, the Bnei Yisrael are mentioned first, and only later were Moshe and Aaron mentioned, which means that when it came to the performance of the mitzvah, there is no difference between the greatest of the leaders of the Jewish people, Moshe and Aaron, and the Hamonam, the majority of the people, when it came to performing the mitzvah, Bnei Yisrael were right up there at the very beginning. And when it comes to the fulfillment of the commandments, so it is that for the Jewish people, the layman, the average person, Baruch Hashem, most of us are average, they have just as much special quality and therefore deserve to be mentioned even before Moshe and Aaron because there's no special gift that accrues to the leaders that doesn't apply to the Jewish people as a whole. That's why in the Orthodox community, both the leaders and the people, the rabbis, the teachers, the Rashi Yeshiva, they don't do the mitzvah any different than the boys in the yeshiva, the balabatim in shul. We all do the mitzvah the same. We all eat matzah. We all go to the seder. We all fulfill the commandments. And therefore, even a person who's not a leader has just as much high quality to even be mentioned first in the Pasuk. And consequently, the Pasuk says, Vayelchu Vayasu Bnei Yisrael, Kasher Tziva Hashem Es Moshe. Interestingly enough, Reb Mendel von Varka makes another observation on this Pasuk. When it says, Kain Osu, at the end of the sentence, so they did. Who's the they? It said at the beginning, Vayelchu Vayasu, and they went and they did. Why does it say, Kain Osu? Kain Osu refers to Moshe and Aaron, as Rashi points out. That just as the people did it, so did Moshe and Aaron do it. Again, there's no special quality and no advantage in being the Rosh Yeshiva, in being the Rav, in being the leader. We all have the responsibility to do the mitzvahs, and we do them the same way. The Shulchan Aruch applies to each and every Jew. It doesn't apply more to the leaders, more to Moshe and Aaron, than it does to the Jewish people. On the contrary, the Jewish people are mentioned first, as the Chassam Sofer pointed out, just as valuable. This concept that each and every Jew bears the same equality and the same type of observance is one that makes the Orthodox Jewish community so powerful because we're all on the same page and we're all united in our fulfillment of the mitzvahs. Parsha's bow introduces the mitzvahs to the Jewish people. And when it comes to the performance of the commandments, all of us are equally obligated, we're all equally on the same level, 
each and every one of us has as much input into the performance of mitzvahs as everyone else. And each and every one of us has the opportunity to make a Kiddush Hashem, a sanctification of God's name, through the performance of the mitzvahs. And consequently, in Parsha's bow, when we meet the first mitzvahs, we are given the concept of the idea that all the Jewish people are equal in the performance of the mitzvahs. Have a wonderful Shabbos.